Hi guys, I wanted to run through another quick offline webinar with you today and the reason I want to do it, it's all about the business plan that we have. Just I was watching an advert, it was a Facebook thing while I was scrolling and uh, an educator there said that you need a business plan and that was the as much advice he gave on it. Have a business plan, prepare a business plan but you know what if you're a mechanic that's you know or, or a, I don't know maybe you work for Costa Coffee, maybe you work for, for, for I don't know a bus driver, you could be anything and you might not have the first clue about creating a business plan so you guys that you're in my group you have this blank template business plan and I'm hoping you've all edited it if you haven't this is your chance to have another look or revisit of that task you edit here and you business plan is fine but edit trader to put your name in there the vision you'll trade profitably and successfully for a period of not less than X years. How long are you going to put into this to make yourself sensibly wealthy? And remember, we already have a webinar on the Gates system and the Gates challenge. You'll employ a trading strategy and implement it during a daily trading plan. You all already have one of those in place. In order to realize profits from trading, currencies, indices, commodities, equities, whatever you like. I have a good idea on equities coming up, lads. Um, your objective is to generate profits from trading the markets on a daily and weekly basis and carry on record results keep a journal basically strategies listed separately as you well know they are and some of them are well written up those that aren't are well prepared and covered in our YouTube channel plans work to the daily plan that you have and repeat it each day as written in the daily trading plan unless you edit the plan in which case work to the edit but have the plan have it printed out and posted very nearby wherever it is you work from at your workstation basically paragraph two there and key decisions again edit trader to be your name and if you're going to have a new strategy strategy then check it back test it for a full 12 months unless you're very very experienced in which case just run a proper back test and be sure that anything new you're going to add works well for you in your mindset maximize your trades by managing them using a trailing or a managed stop in order to maximize the profits the decision on entry is not yours it's always based on an indicator we are technical analysis traders a clear signal must be shown and we can take the trade you might have subscriptions to charting software be it e-signal ensign or an other you might have those fixed costs various well you will have webinar uh, not webinar what is it web web internet connection all my webinars are free of course aren't they now once off hardware and some software you might need a new laptop you might need a bigger screen a better screen or something you might factor it in you might want to come and meet me you might want to be meeting me at uh, you know some or other seminar that we'll be holding somewhere or you might want to go to someone else's seminar they are worth it you've seen on the group there how how somebody attended one recently all on psychology and got a great benefit from it people costs well yours you know what your what, what it costs you to go to work maybe you want to employ someone you all remember I wanted to employ a little old lady to sit and push buttons for me one day and um, well it just didn't happen unlucky for me but there you go I, I'm not a, a robot trader I like people any new ideas well place them in there and and consider them talk to someone about them share them on the group it is what it is income values let's have a look at this I've pasted this out for five years year one to five no problem there and I've said 8,000 pips well 8,000 pips in a year is 40 pips in a day five days in a week 200 pips in a week that's not that big is it? it's not a big deal and I believe that's over 40 weeks and if you were hitting an average of 10 euro dollars pounds per pip then you'd manage a revenue of 80,000 you've all seen the gates challenge so you know what's possible in here and you know I'm perhaps being very conservative here be conservative and plan sensibly we then have a profit and loss section where you can plan the same out or carry it forward in terms of your revenue and your costs known now your costs might be your budget you know what you have in terms of a mortgage just times it by 12 times it by 12 times it by 12 and you 
will have an annual figure to go in there. And then you've all heard me talking about the drill down function and how drilling down in a chart, well that came from my accounting experience, and we can drill down still further by saying, okay, a trader's monthly accounts, year, and then the month, January, February, and so on. You can have a budget, you could insert a column and, and put your actual next to it. You know what your regular salary is. You know if you have any other income, you can pop them in there. And then you'll be able to record what your trading profit and loss realized might be. And I'd suggest and wager that once this figure here outranks, outweighs, outperforms those two figures combined there, if that's passive and you're doing nothing, that's great, let it ride. But this one here, this thing is probably getting in the way of you making money here. So carefully consider what you're doing there and if it's worth keeping it going, as I did back in December 2012 when I quit regular work. Now, you know what your mortgage is per month. You can pop the figures in there. Home insurance, life insurance, your utility bills, your telephone, internet. If you have those fees, put them in. You know what you spend here. And if, if you haven't got a budget for it, just record the actual in there. If you spend something on a replacement window or whatever it was, getting the chimney cleaned, whatever you did, pop the figure in there and you will end up with a total expenses figure and you can record your results monthly so that you know where you stand and remember what gets measured gets managed. I don't know how many times I've said it but then you can look at whether you're in a net in the black or in the red position at the end of each month and at the end of each year and you can just add paragraphs and copy and paste this generally. Further down we've got a bit of a balance sheet section going on because there you can put your total amount left owing on the mortgage and it will be a reducing balance. Ideally it'll get less and less and less as you pay off the mortgage and you'll have a net cash flow figure and hopefully the figure in there will be bigger than all of the other expenditure figures but it's your saving accounts if you have any your credit card spend your personal loan if you have one and what's in your basic current account maybe you've more than one insert a row and populate or yeah insert a row and populate the titles as required and down here then your trading account what did you start with did you have to top it up your win-loss will agree with your win-loss up here and down the bottom your withdrawals will go into your trading profit and loss realized. So there you go guys, it's a quick run through of the trader business plan template. If you haven't populated yours yet, I seriously suggest you give it some review because apparently I'm not the only educator in town that thinks they're a good thing to have. I don't know of anyone else that will offer you one so detailed, neither here nor there where you get it from, that you use it is the main thing, is it not? Right guys, I'll see you all on the next live webinar. Until then, please trade safe and keep me posted. Let me know what you think of this. Give it a like on the YouTube channel if you like it. Um, but always give me some feedback and review through the regular WhatsApp group. Thanks guys. Bye bye.